Anti-He-Man was the master of Anti-Eternia, a hellish world located in the universe of darkness. The evil counterpart to He-Man, Anti-He-Man, had black skin and red hair. He was completely evil and undefeated in combat. He would raise his sword and call upon the power of Hell Grey Skull. Anti-He-Man entered Eternia when Skeletor built a world converter and used it to open an interdimensional gate between the two realities. Instead of joining forces with Skeletor, Anti-He-Man threw him out of Snake Mountain. He later challenged He-Man to combat. Anti-He-Man vanished when Man-at-Arms and Skeletor destroyed the World Converter. When Adam invoked the power of Hell School, he became Anti-He-Man and used his newfound strength to overthrow his homeworld, Anti-Eternia. Anti-He-Man first came to Eternia through a gateway created by the World Converter and challenged He-Man to combat. Their battle ended when Skeletor and Man-at-Arms sent Anti-He-Man back to his realm. He returned during King He-Man's reign and challenged his counterpart again. During the battle, a recently reactivated Faker attacked both combatants. Their three-way struggle devastated swaths of countryside and ended when Anti-He-Man pulled Faker with him through the vortex to Anti-Eternia. On Anti-Eternia, a resentful Faker served Anti-He-Man. Posing as his universe's He-Man, Faker was accepted as an ally by Anti-Keldor and his band of heroic rebels. So taken was Anti-Keldor with He-Man that he presented him with enchanted battle armor as a token of goodwill. Because he was originally programmed to destroy He-Man and obey Skeletor above all authors, Faker's computer brain struggled to process the strange inversa world of Anti-Eternia and began to perceive Anti-Keldor as Skeletor. Thus, much to anti Heman's outrage, Faker's loyalties unexpectedly shifted when he used his battle armor to shield Anti-Keldor from a sneak attack by Anti-Man-at-Arms and Anti-Orco. Later, when Faker received an interdimensional signal from Eternia, the heroic scientific genius Anti-Beast Man helped him return to his own world. Though...